Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to send messages from Oracle integration to WhatsApp message and SMS. So we are going to implement this use case with the help of Twilio adapter connection, which is available in our Oracle integration cloud. I am here in the official documentation by Oracle on Twilio adapter for Oracle integration. You can go through the preface, understand what is Twilio adapter, what are the limitation capabilities, what are the use cases in which you can use, how to create a connection, Okay, what are the prerequisites you need to create a Twilio user account. You can go for a trial account, I have made use of the trial account and you can learn how to use Twilio. If you are having a business account with Twilio, then you can make use of that and get the SID and token. All those things you can go through our Twilio.com and find in details. Now our focus of interest is how we can consume this Twilio adapter for sending SMS. So coming to this add the Twilio adapter connection to integration. Here if you observe the operations available within this adapter, there are two operations. One is send SMS or MMS. Another one is get all recent SMSs. So we'll be using this operation in our integration. I have already created this integration that is send Twilio message int. Let me open this integration and walk you through the code. This is the basic integration. I have exposed this integration over REST protocol. Basically this will accept the message from number to number and the mode. In mode we can send either we want to send this message as SMS or WhatsApp. This is the mode. I will show you how to send those details when we touch this integration. So coming to the wizard of Twilio connection, I will open this, provide some name in the endpoint. Here as I, as I was saying, we have to select the operation as send SMS or MMS. Currently there are two operations offered in Twilio adapter at the time of recording this video. In next it will provide the Twilio's API URL. That's it, close this integration and in mapping we are providing the basic or the required mappings in order to send the SMS that is from to and the body. This from to we can send from the request what we get but I have created integration properties. I have covered in detail how to create integration properties and how we can make use of integration properties at runtime and modify this integration properties at runtime in production environment as well. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. I will give the link in the card section. Your actual business case, if you are having a two-way message, then you can get this status callback as well. Media URL, message service ID, all those things. You can refer the official documentation material for messaging APIs. I'm closing this. That's it. Once we have sent the message, we are sending the status back as success. In case of any error, we are getting a generic 400 error from our Oracle integration cloud. Let us test this integration. I am here in the testing window for this integration. In the mode, we have to provide WhatsApp. Once we test the WhatsApp, we will test for SMS as well. Now, first we will test for WhatsApp. The mode I am providing as WhatsApp from number is 12356 dummy. I have already set up from and to number in our integration property. This is just a dummy. In your use case, you can either send as a request or from integration property. Message I am putting as this is a WhatsApp message from Oracle integration. Now I am hitting on test. We are getting the status as success. So you could see we have got the message in our WhatsApp. This is a WhatsApp message from Oracle integration. Now we will test for SMS. In order to test the SMS mode, we have to type here mode as SMS and provide from to again these numbers are referred from integration properties in my case. And the message I am giving this is a SMS from Oracle integration. Once you have filled all the messages and more details, you have to click on this test button. As you could see, we got the status as success. And on the right side, you could see that we have got the message sent from your Twilio trial account. This is a SMS from Oracle integration. In your uh, business Twilio account, you won't get this message like Twilio trial account. Like this, by making use of Twilio adapter, we can send SMS and WhatsApp messages as well. I am here in the API documentation by Twilio.com. You can refer how you can create this APIs with the help of curl, Java, Python, Ruby, all those things and send the details. On the high level, if you go, come to messaging under Twilio account, under send messages, you can test your dummy uh, message by populating your from number message, selecting the message SID, which you already have set up, providing the body and clicking on send test message. You can see the response as well as it will show you the code at real time. Coming to monitor, you can anytime go to this 
insights under monitor for your particular account and check the details in case if you have triggered the send message from your oracle integration and uh, you have not received the message if you want to know what has gone wrong you can go to logs under messaging okay with the help of message id what you get when at the time of invocation in your oracle integration with the help of that you can track the messages if any error it has occurred it will help you in debugging so this was in brief for more details you can anytime go to this studio.com docs check the details thank you for joining us in this video